Hello, Brands Picoders here. Today we are here with a new plugin tutorial, and today's plugin we are doing is called MindBay. And MindBay is basically a very a lightweight plugin for this, the, the latest version of Minecraft, so 1.12. It does have the previous versions all the way to 1.8, and basically this is an auction plugin, which is very, very easy to set up, and it's very, very smart. So basically if we just look at the certain command here, and that's the main command what everyone would be using as a normal player. But if we just type in mind bay, we can see every single command. So we've got the open, we've got the sell, then how much, and then the create, reload, and then create default, and then version. So we're going to just open it. So mind bay open. And this will show the default uh, auction room. So you can see the mind bay there, default. And you can see the description, I did change it, same brands. Um, and then if we just click that, you can see that I've already put a sign in here. So I've s basically said I want to sell it for 10. The seller is basically brands pickled and the product ID is zero. So if we click that, I have retracted that. So if we wanted to sell that again, so if we just do sell 100 this time, and then you select the, the actual um, auction room, so there's only one here, so default. And you can see here, successfully put one sign for 100 for sale on Mindbay. So if we just open this up again, so open, and you can see at the bottom here, you've got the blank signs here, and then you've got this this one, so which is create new room, all rooms, your room, and then next and back. So if we create a room, and we want to buy an auction, which we can now and you'll see in the chat here brands pickled has bought one so the name is brands pickled auction and then you can change the name the description the block and then how many slots and etc and then your tax so you can see here currently the name is brands pickled description is nothing and you can hear the block is grass the slots is five and the percentage of the tax is five so if we Increase the tax, you can see it's gone to six. Decrease it, five, four. So let's put it to 10, uh, like so. And then the slots was five, wasn't it? So if we buy slots, so you can buy a slot. So to buy one slot is 100. So if we confirm that. And then if we just open this, you can see Brands Pickled's room here. So if we just right click for the settings here, and then let's change the block. So we, we'll have it as a, a diamond, like so. And now we can see, oh my bad, you can see my room has got a diamond. And the ID for my store is 10. Uh, the one, sorry. So if we just get a block, so I've got this block here, and do mine, bay, sell, let's say one. And we want to put it in there. Oh my bad. And then we open it, and then we go here. And you can see here the price is one and it's just all for sale there and I can just literally just get it back to my inventory that's basically it so if we just go on and click your rooms so it only shows that so all rooms it will show both so if we just go to the spigot page now so let me just flick the screens over there we go and here's the spigot page so mine bay 1.3 the uh, the developer is Mr. Let's Play. Uh, you can see the source code here. So if we just open this quickly, uh, you can see literally everything inside inside the plugin. But that's for higher higher coders out there. Uh, so yeah, you can see all the commands here. So the purpose to open the um, GUI, then the sell to sell an item in the certain um, certain auction room with the item in your hand and you create one then the reload plugin the version of the plugin and create default so you can set select the uh, default room and then you've got your permissions so you've got your reload you've got so your players can make unlimited rooms um, allows a player to create rooms even when it's disabled uh, Mind Bay notify update, so basically it tells you when the plugin needs updating when you connect to the server. But that's if that is um, enabled in the config file. 
uh, then you've got your versions you've got the colored names so you can change the names of the uh, the auction with colored names and then default create default and then edit and then edit again you do need vault every plugin with money needs vault no matter what then a the description about the plugin then the features so easy auction system works with enchants um, user economy or similar economy plugin so for my it is essentials as well as vault uh, multiple pages which you can see uh, players uh, has their own auction uh, room so you can have like brands pickled diamond shop or brands pickled building shop or etc so yeah if you've got any problems just go to the discussion tab here and then the notes if you want to donate click that link and then the goals which he has basically reached has he reached 750 downloads he has he's over it he's nearly at 800 uh, and then the plug uh, servers using this plugin is these two and then if you need help you come to the discord also you can come to my discord if you need help and then you got this as all the screenshots and that's basically it on that so if we go to our config file now okay go to the config file and we see the auction rooms so the zero is default one is mine and then this will show you the list of auction rooms I'll show you in a second but we go to the config file let's load up and you can ch see here you can change the prefixes so if we want to change this so let's put pickle pickle shop so and two so it is color color formatted so it's very easy and again I like my arrows I don't like squares that much uh, and then change this so, uh, pickle and then shop and then you can see here you got the prefix which is that so it will say pickle shop you have bought blah 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 from that seller same here name change to new name so do not edit these what got a percentage in them if you do you can ruin how it's going to format but you can obviously reword everything else because these will be already in the code of the plugin of prefix will tell you the tell you to it will link with that and then that is the MB strings there and there and you can see here tax slots and this is all the true and false stuff so allow slots selling room selling creation check for updates update on join uh, use UUIDs so if you are using the latest version of Minecraft um, it's everything's with UUID I think it's 1.8 and below what doesn't use UUIDs if I'm correct so here's all the costing so a thousand to make the room 900 to sell 100 per slot sell the slots for 90 uh, five slots uh, five is the default tax rate 50 is a max tax rate five slots is default 50 slots is max offer five per slot name length for 20 max room is free for a default player and the default icon um, material is grass and then the custom icon is uh, for a custom icon price is 100 and you can see here user per uh, premium and user donator so you can see here room perms so user and then premium is max five rooms donator has got max seven rooms and premium is not allowed to use colored uh, names you are but you uh, premium is allowed to use colored description but with donator you've got your seven rooms you can allow to do seven uh, allow colored names and have colored description so if we just save that so 
you can put mark it as well so you don't need to put mine bay there so this is so if I just do my bad if I just do pickle shop just like let's do that save back and then we go to our auction room so let's go to my auction room so Brian's pickled one and you can see here Brian's pickled auction and you can see the item is my uh, diamond uh, display is diamond default room no it's not default and there's nothing in it basically it's saying there so I've got six slots and then I've my tax rates that so if we just change that to 23 and let's do that and then let's just restart the server and if we just go back to Minecraft come on server yeah you can see too I'm, work I'm currently working on another server here which is a bungee it doesn't matter that should be up like so and if we just do market now you can see that happens and then if we do pickle shop was it and you can see that again pickle shop help pickle shop help so that's my um my prefix so if we just do pickle shop open you can see pickle shop up here and you can see here slots 23 and that's basically it about this plugin it's very simple very easy to use and yeah and remember to like, subscribe, and peace.